from an actor who prefers post-midnight Taco Bell runs to a pop star who will never be too old to stop eating Happy Meals, these celebrities all have a surprising love for fast food. You won't believe some of these orders. Celebrities aren't like most people, and most celebrities aren't like Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, hey, do not put the gun down. <laughs> put the gun down. Hey, put the gun down, Chuck. Put the gun down, Chuck. The NBA great, who stands 7 feet and 1 inch tall, discussed what he orders at various fast food and fast casual restaurants in a November 2022 episode of The Big Podcast with Shaq. O'Neal was impressively precise when he rattled off a string of signature orders from places like IHOP, Waffle House, and Subway. But when it comes to McDonald's, the big fella does not mess around. He said, When I go to McDonald's, my order is a number one, double cheeseburger, and 10 nuggets and a Diet Coke, because I'm on the diet. For those of you who require further clarification, a number one at McDonald's is the Big Mac combo meal, which comes with french fries and a beverage. And to answer your next and very logical question, this is not part of Shaq's normal day-to-day -day menu. In fact, the diet he refers to, combined with personal trainer-led workouts, helped Shaq lose 36 pounds and cultivate what he calls a 4.9 pack of abs. The commander-in-chief doesn't always take his lunch behind the desk in the Oval Office. When former President Barack Obama was serving his first term in the White House, he was famously photographed picking up lunch at Five Guys for himself and his staff. How does Obama like his cheeseburger? He goes for the classic accompaniments of lettuce and tomato, but zests it up by adding jalapenos and mustard. And because he's not your average customer, Obama shakes hands and talks with customers. If he's not in a rush, he may even pose for a group photo. After the May 2009 visit, Washington, D.C. locals were known to come into the Five Guys locations and order the Obama. These days, it's part of the Five Guys' secret menu and is called the presidential. Obama wasn't the only person in his family who enjoyed Five Guys lunches during their time at the White House. First Lady Michelle was known to treat her staff to lunch there as well. British songstress Adele also knows exactly what she wants when she goes to McDonald's, and it happens to be quite similar to Shaquille O'Neal's order. In October 2021, Adele sat down with British Vogue to take part in the Ultimate British Taste Test, where she sampled and had to identify classic British food items while blindfolded. During the taste test, she spoke of her devotion to certain McDonald's menu items in a way that was both cheeky and profound. My death row meal, my last meal would be a McChicken nugget with a Big Mac and then fries, that's my three course. In 2021, Adele publicly addressed her 100 pound weight loss, which she described as a two year journey centered around exercise rather than diet. Boxing, deadlifting, and cardio are all part of Adele's regular routine. She explained that exercising three times a day began to combat the anxiety attacks she experienced after her marriage ended, and that it helps her stay off her phone as well. Clearly, her hard work has paid off, so if Adele wants to have her favorite McDonald's order every week, it's safe to say she's earned it. The cutthroat world of fine dining, a quest for Michelin stars, and yelling, lots of yelling, were Gordon Ramsay's entry points into celebrity chef stardom. Donkey! No. Boy, oh boy. However, that doesn't mean he's eating foie gras and truffles all day. Ramsay's knowledge and enjoyment of food is vast, and even includes the occasional fast food meal. In a conversation with Taste of Home, Ramsay admitted, Every chef in the country loves indulging in fast food. So take me to the drive through at In-N-Out Burger, and you'll see me in the back seat with tinted windows with a double-double. There are hundreds of In-N-Out locations in the United States, but most of them are in Southern California, and you won't find one east of Texas. Luckily for Ramsay, he doesn't have to go far to satisfy his double-double craving. The chef and television star has a home in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. If you're unfamiliar with In-N-Out's double-double, it's two beef burger patties, each topped with a slice of melted American cheese and layered with onion, lettuce, tomato, and spread. The spread is the secret house sauce made from an original recipe that hasn't changed since 1948. Actor Anna Kendrick is a woman of many talents and has a major taste for Taco Bell. In a 2012 appearance on Conan O'Brien, Kendrick elaborated on her penchant for posting late-night tweets about loving Taco Bell. She admitted she only visits locations that have a late-night drive-thru. I like drive out of my way to get to the one with the drive-thru, mm -hmm. so I don't have to go inside. Right. And then I'll just eat it in the parking lot in my car. <laughs> her signature order? The Doritos Taco. When Kendrick tried it for the first time, presumably in the confines of her darkened car, she jumped on Twitter in the early morning hours to clue in her followers. She wrote, Just try Taco Bell's Doritos Taco. I can see why they sold 100 million of these already. This is no joke. 
The original flavor was nacho cheese, which was later joined by fiery and cool ranch flavors. We can imagine Kendrick's heartbreak when Taco Bell discontinued the Doritos Taco in 2019, despite being one of the best-selling items in the restaurant's history. Come 2023, Taco Bell revived the nacho cheese Doritos Locos Taco, and we're willing to bet Kendrick embarked on a moonlit drive to the nearest drive-thru to get her hands on one the second she heard the news. New Jersey native Nick Jonas enjoyed his sub from Jersey Mike's so much, he made a TikTok video about it. In June 2023, Jonas documented his dining experience on camera, marveling at his ability to create what he described as an off-menu item and the greatest sandwich he'd ever tasted. Holding up half the sandwich, Jonas broke down its ingredients. That is whole wheat bread, provolone cheese, ham, turkey, salami, lettuce, pickles, oil and vinegar, oregano, Mike's way. Nick Jonas's TikTok is charming, and we definitely aren't looking to take the wind out of his sails, but technically his sandwich is not a wholly original creation. It's a customized version of Jersey Mike's Stickball Special Sub, also known as a number 11. The Stickball Special Sub is made with provolone, ham, and salami, and can be ordered Mike's way, which includes onions, lettuce, tomatoes, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and spices. Jonas indicated in his video that he ordered his sandwich Mike's way, but omitted the onions and spices. In essence, it was just the stickball special sub with the addition of turkey and pickles. Gordon Ramsay wasn't kidding. Celebrity chefs really do eat fast food, and that includes Kristen Kish. The top chef alum and TV host cites Arby's as her favorite fast food restaurant. She even discussed her go-to Arby's order in an interview with Mashed, saying, Chicken fingers and curly fries are by far the greatest fast food I think that is out there. Kish explained that her love of Arby's stems from eating it as a kid in Michigan, and that she sees it as a regional fast food classic. Arby's was established in 1964 in Boardman, Ohio. We love to hear a gourmet chef gush about such a casual meal. It makes sense coming from Kish, who stars in Fast Foodies with fellow TV chefs Justin Sutherland and Jeremy Ford, a cooking show where celebrity guests challenge the chefs to replicate then reimagine a specific fast food item of the guests choosing. Rihanna has been known to saunter out of high-end restaurants like Giorgio Baldi in Santa Monica, accessorizing her stylish outfits with a glass of red wine. But even superstars like to have a low-key fast food night in between all the fabulousness. Where fast food is concerned, Rihanna favors fast food from her home country of Barbados and places an order at Chefette. Never heard of Chefette? It's a fast food chain that only operates in Barbados, with 15 locations throughout the island. Years ago, Rihanna posted a photo on her Instagram account holding chicken nuggets from Chefette with the caption, A Taste of Home. Rihanna may be partial to Chefette's chicken nuggets, but the restaurant has a lot of variety. From chicken dinners and pizzas to burgers and loaded baked potatoes, Chefette is all about comfort food. Rihanna is a proud Barbadian, and although the globetrotting mogul may not make as many pit stops to her homeland as she'd like, when she does, Chefette is her chosen fast food spot. Being one of the most famous couples on the planet is no easy feat, but Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stick together and put their family first. They also make time for trips to In-N-Out Burger, especially since Harry is a Californian now. Markle confirmed that In-N-Out is Prince Harry's favorite in a 2021 Variety interview, saying, There's one at the halfway point between LA and our neck of the woods. It's really fun to go through the drive-thru and surprise them. They know our order. And what order would that be? When People Magazine spoke to Prince Harry in early 2023, he clarified what these commuter lunch breaks entail, saying, I ordered two double-doubles animal style, fries, and a Coke. And that's just for me. Meg gets the cheeseburger and fries with sides of jalapenos. I just stick with ketchup and that special sauce of theirs. So good. What does he mean by animal style? According to In-N-Out lingo, animal style is when you want your burger with lettuce, tomato, extra sauce, grilled onions, and mustard cooked beef hamburger patties. Pop music royalty Britney Spears is known for her love of not-so-healthy food and drink, but hey, she's human like the rest of us. The star, whose every move was relentlessly documented by the paparazzi in the mid-2000s, was regularly snapped ordering takeout from various drive through establishments, and one of her favorites was McDonald's. More recently, Spears told the news outlet ET that she still frequents the Golden Arches despite having a sensitive stomach. She said, The burger is fine, but I have the small burgers from McDonald's. The Happy Meal. McDonald's has been selling the Happy Meal since the late 1970s, after advertising executive Bob Bernstein developed it. Perhaps the most memorable part of a Happy Meal is the toy that comes inside, but it can be an appetizing pick for adult customers who want a slightly smaller portion, like Spears. McDonald's Hamburger Happy Meal is one of three options on this section of the menu. The others are a four-piece or six-piece Chicken Nuggets Happy Meal. All Happy Meals come with a fountain drink, french fries, and apple slices. Many celebs share Spears' love of Mickey D's, but few can say they they've had their face on fry boxes. 
In 2000, Britney Spears and the Boys of NSYNC were featured on the Boxes and Cups as part of a McDonald's-sponsored music event, highlighting some of the biggest artists signed to Jive Records. Mrs. Bieber is known worldwide for her dewy complexion and chic fashion sense, but she's not above getting down with one of her fast food favorites, Shake Shack. In a 2019 interview with Vogue, Bieber told the magazine that Shake Shack was her guilty pleasure and that the Shake Shack special sauce was a mystery she wished she could solve. She's right, Shake Shack keeps the recipe under wraps, but copycat recipes incorporate mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, dill pickle, cayenne pepper, and other spices. But alas, it's called the copycat recipe for a reason. The Vogue interview wasn't the only time Bieber publicly showed her love for Shake Shack. She and Justin went on a heavily photographed fast food tour of New York City in the summer of 2018. When they hit up Shake Shack, the lovebirds grabbed a couple of burgers with gluten-free buns and french fries. Bieber may not have cracked the code of Shake Shack's special sauce, but she readily admits she can't get enough of it. In a 2019 Twitter post, she confessed that she was tempted to order from Shake Shack twice in one day. Whether or not she did is yet another mystery. To New Englanders, especially those from Massachusetts, Dunkin' is a fast food institution. For Ben Affleck, who grew up in the Boston area, morning and after school stops at Dunkin' were a way of life. More recently, Affleck went full scale with this fandom by directing and starring in commercials for the brand. Things with Dunkin' are going well. Big promotion. Made me brand ambassador. The first ad debuted during the 2023 Super Bowl and depicted Affleck as a Dunkin' employee mingling with customers at the drive thru window. Mrs. Affleck, aka Jennifer Lopez, also pulls up. The second shows Affleck being mistaken for bestie and fellow Bostonian Matt Damon while ordering at the counter. The movie veteran has found creative ways to incorporate his appreciation for Duncan into his day job. Photos of Affleck getting an off-duty caffeine fix at the Massachusetts-founded mega chain have circulated over the years. His order? An iced coffee with milk and two sugars. Affleck says he's a creature of habit in his food and drink preferences, but will occasionally switch up the sugar for Splenda or regular milk for almond milk. Either way, Affleck runs on Duncan. Some mornings, he drinks two iced coffees.